Hey, guess what? We've been invited to move up to Division I and join the Western Athletic Conference. We are really excited about this opportunity, but we needed to make sure it was the right decision for our athletes, students, institution, and community. So DSU hired Collegiate Consulting to conduct a feasibility study, and we looked into all of the pros and cons ourselves, and... We have some exciting news to share today. We are accepting the invitation to the WAC. So what does this mean for DSU? It means that in July 2020, Dixie State University will be home to a Division I athletic program. Which opens many opportunities for our students, university, and community. For starters, Division I schools often experience increases in scholarships, enrollment, and completion rates. Other benefits like more rigorous academic standards, more attention on a national stage. NCAA and WAG revenues and increased booster support will be amazing for Dixie State. Currently, the WAG doesn't include football, so you may be wondering if we'll still have a football team. The answer is absolutely. Football will be an independent Division I team, like several other institutions. Benefits for the community include increased tourism and revenues. Along with big name programs coming into town for the community to come see us play. But by far, one of the best parts is playing more Utah schools and creating intense rivalries with other WAC schools, such as UVU, Cal Baptist, and Grand Canyon University, in addition to having the opportunity to play nearby D1 competitors, such as SUU, Weber State, and Northern Arizona. Hi, I'm Jason Booth. Dixie State University's Director of Athletics. This is an exciting opportunity for DSU and a natural step in the development of a growing institution and community as we evolve from university status to university stature. We hope you are as excited as we are and we invite you to come to our games and show your support for our Trailblazers as we prepare to become a powerful Division I athletic program in the WAC and across the nation.